Hi, my name is Gloria Calderon Sainz. Welcome to my studio in North Adams, Massachusetts. I'm gonna show you today how to make block prints with sticky foam that you can find in a dollar store. First of all, uh, let's practice with some paper, some construction paper. Um, I have some samples here um, of faces. Uh, the idea is to do a mask or a face, cutting the pieces from this uh, piece of paper and, um, and then organizing the pieces in this second piece of paper. You can see here that this whole face came from a square of this size. You see, it's this size. And once it's open, it can occupy a space like that. So, Now that we have practiced with paper, let's practice with the foam, with the um, self-sticky foam. So we're gonna do it, we're gonna cut it before we remove the sticky part. So we're gonna do the same as we did with paper. We're gonna do it here on this piece of cardboard that is the same size. And we're gonna start with the same size of the black paper here. So we're gonna start start anywhere and here I think I'm gonna go for something like this. Let's see. Here. Okay. Now I'm going to change a little bit. I'm going to
Now we have a printing plate. Okay, no, so now let's try to start printing this. And the first try we're gonna do uh, with white paint. I'm gonna use white acrylic this time. Uh, we can use different printing inks, but the white acrylic is gonna be easy to wash. And I'm gonna probably uh, a little bit of retarder so the acrylic doesn't dry too fast. So I'm gonna white acrylic here. Retarder. So, so we stay open. Maybe some texture here. I mean, instead of putting paint everywhere, I'm going to do a little bit of texture. And because the foam is kind of squishy, that really helps transparent paint. Okay.
Let's print another one. I got a very nice even print. Hi! Now that you have watched the videos, um, I invite you to try at home. Um, this is very simple. Uh, I'm gonna remind you what you need. You need a uh, foam, sticky foam, uh, that is easy to find in craft stores, uh, that has the backing, sticky backing. It usually come in this uh, format. Uh, what I do, I cut it in half. So with uh, half of it, I have enough to do an image that will fit well on a on a a um, four uh, you know, letter size paper. Uh, very often I print on construction paper. I, I love the colors, um, but if you prefer um, to print on white, um, it, uh, it's up to you, of course. Um, the possibilities are endless, uh, so you will need the, the foam, you will need cardboard, uh, rigid cardboard, uh, you can even use cardboard uh, from um, boxes, this type of cardboard would work too, to, to stick the, the foam pieces, um, then you can use uh, X-Acto knife to cut the foam uh, if you are comfortable with this type of tool, or you can use scissors, and um, for children, definitely scissors will be the good choice. And then you need a roller. You can find this also in craft stores, um, rubber roller. You need um, acrylic paint. It can be ordinary acrylic paint. I guess even, even house paint can be used. Um, as much as you wash your things quickly, it's okay. Uh, you can eventually find this. It's a retarder for acrylics. Um, it goes a long way because you only need a drop sometimes just to slow down the drying process of the acrylic so you can work for a longer period of time. And um, that's basically everything you need. So please give a try at home. Um, you can use this system to print cards for sending to your family. You can print invitations. You can print anything that is fun and you can spend a, a wonderful time with your children, friends doing that. Uh, please give a try and then we can meet sometime uh, over Zoom or another way to discuss uh, what you've done and, and how you feel about it. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye.